Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning, the Sabbath, and that's what I want to speak on is the Sabbath. The Lord had me up and talking to me about the Sabbath. And first of all, I want to pray so that God can have his anointing and we can get true revelation, true understanding, because it's important that we get his knowledge, understanding, so we could become wise. So, Father, right now, Lord, pour out your knowledge pour out your understanding, and help us to become wise. In Jesus' name, thank you. And I thank God for this beautiful Saturday. It's cool, but it's beautiful. Fall, the fall colors are all around, and God is good. But God had me about the Sabbath this morning, and in Exodus 20, and we know that the in Exodus 20 is the, the outline of the Ten Commandments and I broke them down where they're simplified that we should have no other God before him no graven images we are not to worship anyone or anything because God is a jealous God so number one no other God number two no graven images number three don't take the Lord's name in vain number uh, or I, I apologize. Number three, don't bow down and worship any other God. Number four, don't take the Lord's name in vain. Number five, keep the Sabbath day. Keep it holy because it's the day of completion of the creation of God. Number six, honor your mom and dad. Number seven, don't kill. Oops. Number seven, don't steal. Number Eight, don't steal. Number nine, don't lie. And number 10, don't covet. Covet is basically you want, you see somebody that gets something and you want it. You want it. You just, you know, they get a new car, you want a new car. You can't even be happy for them. They get a new boyfriend, you want a new boyfriend or whatever. It, it's, it's covetous. And then the Lord took me into, that's the Old Testament, Exodus 20. And then the Lord took me into Matthew 12. And Jesus on the Sabbath, picture on today, he and his disciples are walking and they come across a cornfield and they're hungry. So they begin to tear off the stock, uh, corn from the stalks and begin to eating. And out from wherever comes the Pharisees. And the Pharisees are, are symbolic of religious people. They always want to condemn somebody for doing right and wrong. So the Pharisees jump out and they start to tell Jesus, well, I thought the law said you weren't supposed to do anything on the Sabbath. And Jesus begins to tell them about David, how when David was hungry, he went into the temple and ate sacred food that was not to be eat eaten, but he ate it anyway. And then Jesus goes on to tell him about uh, um, I apologize. Then Jesus begins to make a statement in the word about just who they're in the presence of. And on your little commentary on the side, it always has these little scriptures like John, Chronicles, Haggai. On the side of that scripture, there's little other scriptures and it's a witness to the truth of what the word is being saying and Jesus is talking about himself and verifying that he is who he is and these Pharisees don't even know it they don't they don't even know who they're in the in the company of and so Jesus comes against the teachers the religious people with the word that that was the law but now he is love and he's coming in a different he's coming in a different form he's coming to fulfill the law to make a full understanding which that is what today I want is that we get the full understanding and if you don't get the full understanding seek God Go into your quiet place and ask him to reveal the truth to you because that's the only way you're going to get the truth. Don't depend on man's wisdom, man's knowledge, man's understanding. Go to the king of kings, the Lord of lords, and he'll impart everything 
everything that you want to know, he's not going to withhold anything from you because his whole reason for coming is to restore our relationship back with God. God came and dwelt with man, and man just was evil, evil, evil. They kept choosing the wrong way. So God sent Jesus. And because there were so many laws and just the, the, the evilness just spread throughout the world. So God sent Jesus to restore man back to God. So in that, Jesus wants to restore us back to God. He wants us to have the full knowledge and full understanding in this day. He's still with us. He still wants to impart all his love to us. So we need to, to stop today, look at his word, and take this outline in, in uh, Exodus 20 of the do's and don'ts. Because then that's knowledge and understanding. You don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. And then after you get all the do's that you're supposed to do and the don'ts that you're supposed to do, you have no excuse. And then God wants us to move into this relationship with him where he can teach us everything there's there's nothing that god wants to withhold from us and he wants to set the record straight and bring clear understanding to us so today is the sabbath day and i want us to do as jesus did i want us to recognize all of creation that god created all 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 of this that we have stop smell the roses today take time to have coffee with your husband take time to just sit and embrace your kids because we all know tomorrow is not guaranteed we only have today and that's what i am saying today is a day that the lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it so i want you to step into this sabbath and really acknowledge God today that he is the creator of this world. Look at creation, not man today. Look at creation and take yourself into a place where you really just, you call upon God and you tell him, I've heard this and I've heard that about you, but I want to know who you are. I want to know who you are. And immediately after Jesus was confronted by the Pharisees, he went into the temple and he started healing. So I'm going to close with this, that to, today I want you to prepare yourself for healing. I want you to just prepare yourself. I don't, if it's physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing, whatever healing you are, are in need of, I want you to prepare yourself today, Bill, by first acknowledging God as God. And tomorrow, we're going to just take time to pray. On my little comments, let's put some comments in there of needs that you have. And let's together go before the, the Father go before him through Jesus Christ because Jesus made a way for us to talk directly to the Father. So let's today be still before the Lord, acknowledge him in all things, and if there's anything that we need from Jesus, any healing, like he began, that's the first place he left was into the temple to, to begin healing. So let's prepare ourselves for tomorrow for a great move of God's healing. I love you all, and this has been fun. Um, I really apologize for um, the, um, I'm just not comfortable yet in front of the camera, but I'm just heeding to God right now. So be gentle with any kind of criticism and just hear my spirit and know that I love the Lord and I want you to experience all the wonderful things that God has for you. We are his people, and he's He's not changed. He's a God that was yesterday, today, and forever. He's unchangeable people. He loves his people. He wants to heal his people. He wants to meet every need. He said, look at the birds. They never work for their food, and yet he's provided food for them. Look at the flowers. and." and their beautiful colors and king solomon was the richest man on the face of the earth back in the day and he in all his wealth could never 
compare fabrics or color to what God has created and how much more God wants to give us because he loves us more than the birds and the flowers. We're made in his image. So today, prepare yourselves, spend time with him, and tomorrow we're going to pray. Put your needs in the comment area and we're going to go together as a people of God petitioning him. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Have a happy Sabbath.